Hello fellow engineers, and what do you get if you give a highway engineer the ability to draw roads wherever he wants? You get this. An entire city filled with different highways and interchanges. We've got realistic interchanges, not so realistic interchanges, beautiful interchanges, as well as magic roundabout, levels that nearly broke me, and very deformed owls. You might have to like tilt it to the side and squint a bit, but that's definitely an owl. It makes an owl noise. But we'll be coming back to the owl later on because we've got four levels to complete first. Currently, our world efficiency is 31,322. We're going to see how high will that go. Yes, first off, let's get into the next level, which I think we're in numerical order. Yep, 76. So we're on 77, this one. So we're going to have a road coming in from the left and a road coming in from above because all these levels, they are literally linked. So we've got those. Oh, we've got a few more. Now, as well as drawing efficient layouts, you also need to consider how much traffic is coming from everywhere. So if you click on these, you'll see it draws an arrow to each place. The wider the arrow, the more traffic that's going to come there. The thinner the arrow, it means not very much traffic. So a good place to start is to do your thick arrows first. So we've got a thick one over to the pink. So I'll probably just go straight ahead and do that. And now pink cars, they come from this road and they head to there. Now from the pink, we've also got a green one that's quite thick. So I might take that straight up. That's that one sorted too. Note there's no undo button on this. So if you do cock up, you literally have to go all the way back to the start. Uh, so from this road, we've got to get to the light blue color 50. So I'm probably just going to go straight down across there. And then I can do a little bridge by pressing this button. Boop. Because it's a lighter color, that means it's up in the air. So I think everything else they're all sort of thin lines so what we can probably do now is do like a little bit of a roundabout so if we start from say here we'll go this direction we'll go into there then we'll make an arm come off we go over the top of that road and back down and we come over this one back down and then i'm going to come over here i'm going to do a double bridge like that then we're just going to make sure we go close to both of these and then a bridge over those top two and then we've made that so all we need to do now is pretty much connect everything up so we're going to do an arm from there an arm off there connect that on connect that off now, ah something i didn't consider there's there's a blooming is that a toilet paper shop or is it a coffee shop Either way, I can't draw a road through there. So what I'm probably going to have to do here is go round like that. Not ideal. So look at that guy. Do you see his back end come out? <laughs> <laughs> Looks fun to drive, but it does mean it's a little bit slow. It could clog up this road. But anyway, connect that, connect that. Do an arm off up to there. And then an arm off there. You can go through signs. So we'll drive straight through that one. And that is the network complete. So that means when we click on all of these, none of them are flashing anymore, which means we've done all of the routes perfectly. So we're going to press the pink stopwatch. It will send a load of traffic through. And then we'll end up with an efficiency score, 563. Not bad. And you may have noticed, because we got over 500, we've unlocked a picture. Now, you don't get them every levels. It's only special levels you get that. And the score does change, but this is what we get. What a treat. It's a roundabout interchange in Germany. They're extremely common all over Europe. Yes, we call them grade separated junctions because they're like the main motorway is at one level, one grade. And the junction is like higher than it. Can you see there's like bridges going over? So the junction is separated from the main carriageway in terms of grade, in terms of the level. So yeah, grade separated junction. But cool, it looks like the Germans have gone a bit mental in terms of the hatch patterns. There's literally hatches everywhere. A bit excessive in my opinion. But anyway, let's get on to the next level because that score is actually okay. So you can see the next level is going to link to the right of the one we've just done. And we're going to have a road from above and then what's ever to the right and to the bottom. So as last time, it could be more complicated than it looks. Okay, it's a simple one. <laughs> so people from the desert highway, they just want to get to the other desert highway. And the people from that one just want to get down there. Okay, well, I guess a simple thing to do is, I guess something like this, because this only uses one bridge. So it's really efficient. You know, bridges cost more than just road on the ground. Uh, we also, we avoid the wildlife. We don't want to ruin cactuses and things. So overall, top job. Let's go on to the next level. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I don't even know. Does it come out this side? I don't think it does. So this next level, we've definitely got a road coming in from the top. 
And then I don't know what's happening to the side and the bottom. Ooh, okay. So we've got three roads, sort of in a triangle sort of layout. And in the middle, we've got a salt and pepper shop, as well as Mao's. And Mao's is a piano key shop. So they sell piano keys, but obviously, to make it more obvious, it's piano keys only and not just piano. They have like the little key symbol under there. Anyway, it looks like all the outer ones want to go to each other, as well as the middle. And then the middle ones just want to go to the outside. I feel like this design might get messy. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of space on this. Anyway, we'll do the simple stuff first. We know we definitely want to drive up into there and we definitely want to drive out of there down to here. Same over this side. Okay, so we've got a little bit done. Next up, I think we want to come down from here. I want to leave a bit of space for another road. And then I think I want to cut down, jump over, and then connect straight in like that. And then off this corner, I can connect in that side. All right, so next up, I think I want to do the yellow to the blue. So I think we're just going to go straight up. Yeah, so I'm going to keep this sort of wide just so I have a bit of space. But we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take the road from here here and link it up over to there. Next up from this purple road, I'm just going to hop over there and connect in there. And then from this purple one, that's everything completed. They can get everywhere. From the green, they still want to get to up there and down there. So I'm going to have to take a bridge from this road in the bottom left sort of around because if I were to go down the bottom then they're not going to be able to get to blue very easily so yeah I think what I'm going to have to do is going to be a big bridge I'm going to come off there we're going to go up avoiding the other bridge and then back down to there and then I think if we come up to there and then just head around and loop into that and then hopefully we can do with the arms to do the other maneuvers I'm not sure if this bridge is working correctly though no I think it's fine I think it's fine I think it's just a sort of graphical issue cool right so first off coming from the piano key shop, I'm going to try and just loop around like that. And then I guess we're going to come off the inside here. Bridge up and over and down to there. So now from the piano key shop, they can get to yellow. They just got to get to blue. So that involves just doing a bridge over this. So something like that. <laughs> Not the neatest thing I've ever done. Those middle two are now sorted. They're no longer flashing arrows. We've just got to do from the top to get to the pink and the yellow. So they come across this road. I think all I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a bridge over there. And I could connect in there, but that's going to be a merge before a diverge. It's probably best to connect in there, like after that diverge. So we'll come over. This is so messy, this design. And we'll do that. And that is now complete because they can get to purple and they can get to yellow. Let's simulate this and see how it runs. Oh, you can see the traffic is pulsing. It's pulsing. Yeah, 532. Decent. I feel like that's a reasonable score. Let's move on to the next level. And this is the final level. Yes, this is the last episode of Freeways, in case you hadn't noticed. Uh, very, very sad times. We had a lot of memories here. A lot of good memories. A lot of bad memories. A lot of just memories. So let's do the last ever level of Freeways. Right, okay. We've got five roads. Sort of in like a... Hang on, what? I'm clicking all of these. None of them want to go to Smith Road. Oh. Oh, yeah, they do in there. Can you see under that purple flashing arrow? There's a very small blue one. So on this one, it's basically just a four-way interchange, but with a little link road off up to Smith Road. Now, we've got things to avoid down the bottom. We've got an irregular puzzle piece we need to avoid, as well as the super wavy flappy arm man. So we've got to be careful of that. All right, well, I'm sort of thinking like an angled clover leaf, and then we'll just come off one of the arms of that one to get up to there. So let's put these arms in first. First, try and make a short crossover piece for these straight through roads. So that gives us nice and short bridges, which are cheaper. Right, then it's just a case of cloverleafing this up. So we go from this one, we do a loop around like that, do the same over here. And we've made a very strong shaped road, do the same there and the same there. And then we just cut the corners so it doesn't turn into a weird shaped roundabout. So we do that, we do that. And then in order to do Smith Road, where do they come from? They come from there. Now, all I'm worried about is I'm not going to be able to fit my my shortcut route in and connect that. So I might have to connect to that and then bridge my shortcut route over. Thing is, that traffic's so small. I'm, think, I'm not sure if it's worth doing a route from this road directly or just coming off that arm because it's right there. Like, this could work. We'll try it. We'll try this and we'll see what score it gets us. So we could just go straight up and then with this arm, we come over, we do the world's shortest bridge and connect in over there. So let's simulate and see how it gets on. Oh, there's a lot of traffic. There is a lot of traffic. 
three, four, nine. Yeah, it's not very good. It's not very good. We've got to get 400 to get the last photo. Right, well, that's a bit of a no. I'm not sure if it's the blue traffic that did that. I feel like the space isn't ideal for this. So I'm going to try and do a different four-way interchange. I'm going to try and do a diverging diamond. Now, for a diverging diamond, we want to sort of cross that over, come up to this one, and then cross back over again. And then for the road in the opposite direction, you've just got to bridge over. So we do a bridge like that, bring them close together, and then down here, bridge back over the top. And then the other straight through roads are literally just straight through roads. So we've got that. And then I feel like I'm going to have trouble with the bottom because I probably didn't draw this in the best spot, actually. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, let's just see. There might there might actually be space. So for the diamond, we come off there, head this way, and then we just want to connect after that. Maybe I should have done these crossover things way closer. That's that done. Then we just loop from there under there. Then we can go from this arm straight up to there. And then we just loop that arm up to there. Over this side, we come straight down, connect onto there, and then loop this one around as well. Oh, balls. No, I did that wrong. That's meant to loop that direction. Poo. This is why I miss having an undo button. Anyway, for the final arm, I think I want to do from there up to Smith Road first. And then we can just come off here, do a short bridge, come off there. And then that is the network complete. That's apparently a diverging diamond. <laughs> Not sure what shape it actually is. So we'll simulate. It looks like there's a bit less traffic, but there's a lot more concrete used. So who knows whether it'll be better. And it's better. What a nice score to end on. Nice. Uh, we also, we unlocked the final picture as well. How exciting. Okay, so what is the picture for completing the game? <gasps> Ooh, that is nice, actually. It's a four-level stack interchange in San Antonio, which is perfectly symmetrical. That is actually lovely. So yeah, really cool. But you'll notice, as it says, four-level stack. That bridge is like four levels in the air. There's three roads beneath it. So pretty expensive to build that one because you've got a lot of bridge in the middle. They're all on top of each other, which means all the stuff around the outside has to be high level. It looks like they filled that in with like dirt. So I think along there is a slope. And uh, moving dirt is very expensive. So although it looks cool, not necessarily the best solution in most situations. But let's head back to the map. What's our score? Oh, 32,837. Well, I feel like we should go back and try and get that up to 33,000. There's definitely a few levels we can improve, like the squinty owl. Uh, granted, it was very close to a nice score, but I mean, look how inefficient that is. And when you simulate, there's like no traffic, which means you're probably better off drawing a roundabout. So 68 to beat, there's literally no traffic. It's so weird compared to the later levels. What are we going to get? 195. Wow, that's actually quite an improvement. Uh, now we need like 36 more points. Ooh, where can we get those from? Tell you what, level 68 with our glasses. So I sort of did this one just to show you how like a double layered roundabout works. So you've got like a roundabout on bridges in the light grey. You've got a roundabout at ground level going the opposite direction in the dark grey. Uh, unfortunately on here, not the best score in the world. There's a lot of concrete going on. So sadly, we're going to clear that. And then we're going to do this sort of somewhat sensibly. So I think basically I'm just going to put in all the main routes. So you want to go over to there. You want to go over to pink. You want to go down to blue. You want to go to Cal Road. Cal Road wants to go to green. And green wants to go to orange. So that's all of our main routes done. I think the next step is to pretty much sort of try and create a roundabout under all this because everything else is just a really thin line. So let's say we start from there. We're going to have two bridges over those. I'm going to come down. I think I'm going to take this over that way and then double bridge over those. All right, there we go. Now we've got our ring road roundabout. So I guess we just decide whether we want it clockwise or anti-clockwise. I don't think there's going to be too much of a difference. So let's just pick clockwise and then we'll connect it all up. Right, and then while simulating, you realize you drew the outer thing the wrong way round. Right, there we go. That... <laughs> That looks so much worse, but we'll see how it works. Oh, simulation is looking pretty smooth. Not seeing any traffic build up. So hopefully, oh, 538. That's pretty good. And it means we've smashed 33,000. Uh, something I'm confused about, though. In Steam, it says I've only unlocked one of the two achievements. And the other one is discover all interchange pictures. Well, apparently, I've only got 21 out of 24. Is there anywhere that tells you, like, how you've done? What's that question mark? 
Oh, that just tells you the rules and stuff. Okay. Is that a button there? What does that one do? That's... Oh. Oh, wait. Are we following a car? I think we're following a car. Oh, I wonder where he's going to go to. Oh, imagine all the places we can see. He's going past the UFO shop. And he's... Oh, he's, he's gone to the UFO shop. But now we get to follow another car. Cool. Okay. <laughs> That's actually quite interesting. Uh, is that a button? A stopwatch? Oh god, what have I done? Oh, phew. I thought I deleted all my levels for a second. That just turns them all off. So you can see all my all my layouts. Nice. Right, apparently this level has a photo. I assume it unlocks at 400. I got 398. Uh, partly because I left like a little mistake in there. Can you see I've got like super high bridge? So let's delete all this. And then this is pretty simple, I think. So we basically just do that and then roundabout into there, roundabout out of there. And then we simulate that. And I hope this will be a little bit better. I feel like I've I've learned to draw better. There we go. 400. Oh man, did you see that? We needed 450 to unlock this. Uh, that was actually pretty tight. We also, we nearly used a very nice amount of concrete. We could just squeeze a two into there. That would be very nice. Anyway, this is what we unlocked. Ooh, a dumbbell interchange. Very, very, very common in England because it's a very cheap bridge because it's just one bridge because you put your two roads onto it and then two little roundabouts. Lovely. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was going to say, weirdly, I've just gone through all of them and it definitely, it's definitely bugs because I got them all. I just had another look and look, I, I did unlock it. It didn't pop up. Anyway, I'm now in the top 1% of all players that have played this game. Now, I do, I do sort of wish there was like an overall leaderboard so I could see if I'm any good. Let me know in the comments. Am I any good? How did you do if you have completed this game? Let me know. But I think for now, that was Freeways. Had an absolute blast with this. I'm I really love that you can just follow, like, your cars through all your designs. That's really cool. But yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, if there's any other games similar to this you want me to play, let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm after something new to play now we've finished this. But anyway, I'll say peace, love, and freeways. Cheers, guys. Bye.